C R. So guys, I'm really excited. Obviously, we're gonna go through the Giants and Cowboys preview, but I'm not or review, I should say, not preview. A recap. Um, but I'm really excited because there's a member of YouTube that returned yesterday, and that was Big Blue and Bias. He is back, and I can't wait to start rebuttaling this dude. He is the reason, and Fitz Vegas, the reason why I stepped on YouTube. And I'm glad I did because a lot of these guys have total misnomers. Fitz Vegas, to be totally honest with you, isn't a real Giants fan. He is so Johnny come lately when it comes to the Giants, it's beyond me. You know, root for who that nation, like you said you were going to do. You're not a Giants fan. Anybody thinks that Fitz Vegas is a Giants fan, he's not. You know, he's a Johnny come lately when it comes to that. But moving on, uh, Vince is back, and I can't wait to rebut him. I enjoy Vince's channel. Hell, I'm going to even leave a link to his channel in the description box below because I'm entertained by Vince. I don't believe in a lot of his takes, but you know what? It's all, You should always listen to the other side and consider what they say. I'm not saying totally change your mind because, you know, but keep an open mind. I always say, keep an open mind. I listen to what Vince says. I disagree with a lot of what he says, but I listen to what Vince says. And the kid's an intelligent kid. I just, I believe a lot of his takes are off. But either way, go check out Vince, seriously. If you want a different take from Giants Van, go listen to Vince. I know a lot of guys aren't crazy about him, but go listen to him. Like I said, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. So let's move on. Let's get into this Giants-Cowboys recap. So a couple surprising things that I didn't realize is we actually had more first downs than the Cowboys, uh, 25 to 23. Another thing that I saw is actually we, I think this was the most yards between the two teams ever. There was no such thing as defense. Now, obviously, the Cowboys held us to 17 points, and a lot of some of our total yards came at the end of the game, but... You know, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, you cannot be happy about giving up 470 yards. Now, some of it did come at the end of the game, but you can't be happy about giving up 151 yards rushing, period. So Dallas Cowboys have a little bit to work on, but at the end of the day, Dallas Cowboys won. Hats off to Dallas Cowboy fans, but you guys have stuff to work on. The Giants' defense is a total and utter sieve. What can you say? We were able to stop the run. We held the Dallas Cowboys to 89 yards, but we could not. Stop Dak Prescott. And you would think with 405 yards, Dak Prescott had more than 32 attempts. That's all he had. He was 25 for 32 with a perfect passer rating of 158.3. The defense has got to get better. It's got to get home. Now, granted, the Dallas Cowboy line is vaunted. But we made them look like the best offensive line of all time. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't get there with the front four. We couldn't get there sending five, six. Antonio Hamilton is embarrassing, and I have no idea why he's on this team. The tackling was pathetic. The coverage was pathetic. I mean, it was pathetic across the board. Don't get me wrong. DeAndre Baker got burned. Grant Haley got burned. It was pathetic out there, guys. And our defense needs to improve, and Pat Shermer said so much in his postgame press conference. But I can't stand Pat Shermer because his play calling stalled drives. Stalled drives because he tried to get too cute. What are you doing on a fourth and one rolling out? Run the football. Use your best player. And he tried to make excuses for that in the press conference. There is no excuse for that, Pat. Sorry. There is no excuse. Your play calling was atrocious. And next time when it is, come out and say so. Don't sit there and blame your team. Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh. You take some responsibility too. Because at the end of the day, you win as a team, you lose as a team. And in your press conference, you blamed a lot of your players. Start taking some responsibility yourself. Because your play calling was atrocious in this game. Stop getting cute, buddy. It ain't going to work. Use your best player. To give your player only 11 carries in the game, you would think that he was in Cabo for the last two weeks like Zeke. Zeke had more carries... Sorry for the phone in the background. Zeke had more carries than Saquon. Only by two. But at least with Zeke's excuse, essentially, it made sense. He wasn't, you know, he's just getting back into the swing of things. And then Tony Pollard. The Cowboys ran the ball. Even though they didn't run the ball the most effectively, they still ran the ball and they stuck with it. 
Now, granted, a lot of people want to put it on the fact that we only had four possessions in the first half. But knowing that your defense was a sieve, we didn't attempt to make any sort of adjustments. We needed to run the ball more and keep the Dallas offense off the field. And that's what we're going to have to do going forward if we want to win games until this defense improves. Now, Eli, a lot of people are calling for Eli Manning's head because they want to see DJ. I get it. I want to see DJ too. But Eli Manning played respectable yesterday. He had some good plays. There's some other questionable things that happened in that game, that rollout. Just, I mean, at that point, either give up and throw the ball away at that point. I mean, it's a turnover on downs regardless. But, you know, he's trying to make something happen. Some of the things I wasn't happy about. You know, if you're 3rd and 14, 3rd and 15... Take a shot downfield. Why are we passing the ball, giving a four or five yard pass? That I don't get. But I'm going, I'm harping on a lot of points other guys have made in their video. But, you know, this is one of those games where you cannot, you can't help but overlay what people have to say. Because, quite frankly, we all saw the same thing yesterday. Moving forward, the Giants need to be much improved on defense. We all know this. And I'm hoping it can improve, but and I'm hoping we can get a win against the Bills this week. But right now, it's not looking good. But hey, it's game one of the season. You know, let's hope they get a little bit cleaned up. You know, they're not going up against as good of offense. You're going against a second-year quarterback in a Bills defense that turned the ball over four times. So maybe there's there's some hope yet in this week's game. But either way, guys, it's been one giant rebuttal. Please like and subscribe and go Big Blue.